Welcome in a review of FreshBooks. The first thing I'm going to review are pricing plans, and then I'm going to review the features, like what you're actually gonna get from FreshBooks and if it's actually worth it to use FreshBooks. So let's start. Now, when you would come here on FreshBooks pricing plans, you have four plans here. You can pay monthly or yearly, that's the first thing I like. And on light version, you're gonna see 15 bucks a month. On plus version, you're gonna have $25 and premium 50. On light and plus, the most important thing are clients so if you're gonna have 50 billable clients you need to go with a plus version definitely because five wouldn't be enough the light version wouldn't be enough and when you come here you can automatically track expenses invite your accountant run business health reports and the pricing is okay-ish it's not really expensive comparing to quickbooks but it also is not like free like wave or zipbooks because those invoicing softwares are completely for free now what about the features and how it actually feels to use FreshBooks? So when you would come here, you get dashboard where you see outstanding revenue, total profit, revenue streams, spending, unbuilt time. This is okay. It's not uh, like really advanced like you have in QuickBooks. Okay. Then you're going to see clients here. Where you can simply add your clients. Uh, then add a new client. The one dislike thing I have, one thing I dislike about FreshBooks is that how everything is big. It's not simple or clear that you need to scroll a lot. Because like if I go here, Ninja Invoice, Invoice Ninja, look at clients here. You come here, you add a new client. Here in FreshBooks, you need to actually scroll down because you see like all these and it's some, sometimes it feels so random, you know? And just add a new client here and you can simply add a new client. Pretty simple. Then you're going to see invoices and you can add a recurring invoice or you can add normal invoice, new invoice from me or to me and simply add a new client and add a description and add an item that you created. Pretty simple, pretty easy. You can also send a reminder. You can charge late fees and you can change currency. You can also accept online payments if you want to. And you can send to or cancel. Then you're going to see expenses here. And payments. So check out the links that you have. Expenses right here. You can add a new expense. Again, really simple, really easy. Press cancel. And then you're going to see estimates here that you can add and all these things are basic this is not something really that advanced so create new estimate or proposal you can add it and then you're going to see time tracking here time tracking is that what you can do for a project and one thing i really like is that in fresh books the time tracking mm, is available because in xero in wave you don't actually have it so just click start timer and as you can see the timer started and if I'm going to move my camera right now, you see add a client project, add a service. And you can just zoom it down. Look at this. And it's really good, right? Or you can simply cancel and press or like stop. And voila, here we got an entry. Let's move the camera back. You got an entry here. And then you're going to see projects. You can assign a project, you can create a project right here. Also quite simple. And it goes great. And then you're going to see my team here. That I invited and reports. Now another thing that reports in FreshBooks are not something too advanced. So if you need simple reporting, you can go with FreshBooks. Another thing is that you don't have payroll in FreshBooks. So that's another thing. So invoice reports are okay-ish, but nothing too advanced. And then you're going to see accounting here. In accounting, you can have chart of accounts and bank reconciliation. And accounting reports. Yep. And then you get like add-ons here. So this is pretty much it. And this is what FreshBooks is about. It's a good accounting software. It's not advanced comparing to mm, QuickBooks because in QuickBooks you have mile age, sales, Mm, sales taxation that you can do really good thing payrolling also 199 contractors and that's pretty much it so thank you very much if you have any questions guys ask me down in comments and have a great day and goodbye
See ya.